I've got 9,000 VC, which are gonna be using to make some upgrades to get out of this nasty 44 overall. <laughs> also, I'm gonna be selecting my jump shot and my signature style moves, so let's go. Wow, this is a fantastic layout to upgrade your badges, your attributes, equip some shoes, your layups, your animations, everything. You know, let's take a quick look at the shoes in the game. And wow, this is brilliant though. The shoes increase your attribute, equipping some shoes. Maybe will increase your three-pointer. Some of them too, you have to unlock them in connections. And I hope when you sign your shoe deal, maybe if you sign for Jordan, maybe all Jordan shoes will become free or exclusive to you. That would be really nice though. So let's take a look at the armbands and the arm sleeves. I doubt there are any arm sleeves in the game, but it doesn't matter. As long as they brought some equipment for your arm and your legs, you know, it's, it's really nice. Some extra equipment. I don't mind. Let's take a look at the leg equipment as well. You know, it's not bad. They also affect your attributes on court when you equip them. So that's really nice. So now we're moving on to the jump shot section. You know, there's so many jump shots in the game. I think they added some new ones and it looks really nice. I like the animations layout. You know, it's really simple and really easy to navigate through. So yeah, let's move through it quickly. I think these ones, you have to unlock them in connections. Yeah, you have to unlock some of them in connections. The nice ones, you know, the famous players, the superstars, if I may say so much. You know, I think you have to unlock them in connections, yeah, which is really nice. It's a challenge. It makes the game more interesting. So yeah, guys, let me know what jump shot you like me to pick, what jump shot you think is the best. So now I'm on to the fadeaway sections and really 2k you have to purchase fadeaways now are you serious Bruh. wow this is crazy they really want to milk our money <laughs> they want us to buy that VC but it doesn't matter you know your boy looking like Kobe with that fadeaway look at his nasty crossover they left me with in college though <laughs> but now I have the chance to change it and thankfully you don't have to buy the crossover like, I would have been so mad. <laughs> so I've got my eye on crossover 2 and crossover 6. Crossover 6 looks deadly. Looks like I can get some ankles. But I'm going crossover 2 because it looks really quick. For my behind the back move, I'm going to be going with the behind the back 7. For my spin move, wow, this looks really tough because they all look really nice. But I'm going to be going with that spin 4 because it looks really quick and really simple. Okay, uh, I'm hesitating on which one to pick over here. Uh, okay, that was a really bad pun. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go with Hesitation 3 because I really like how it looks. <laughs> now, this is something new that they brought follow through. This is interesting though, but I really like what you're doing here. They've given you the ability to fully customize your jump shot to suit however you like it. You know, and it's interesting. So many follow throughs as you can see. They all look really nice, you know. You might pick a certain release or a certain jump shot, but the follow through might change it totally, you know. Look at his follow through. Maybe I'm gonna pick this. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my goodness. But let me know which follow through you guys think are the best follow throughs. You know, I don't really know. I haven't really tested any of them out, but I don't know which one I'm gonna pick at this point. Maybe I'm gonna go with the four or the three. That one caught my eye. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with three. Wow, my player dunking was a 52. No wonder he couldn't dunk in college. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to level 7. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my 3-pointer to level 5. Wow, these upgrades are really, really costly. It's going to be a grind. So now I'm going to go ahead and select my dunk packages. The prices of the dunks look really, really affordable though. But some of the dunks which were free in 2K16, they are now priced at a really low price. I don't mind that, but 2K, really? <laughs> So the basic 360 dunk package is priced at 200 VC and the side arm tomahawks are priced at 1750 VC. Bruh. Really? Now that doesn't make any sense to me but hey I am mad I prefer the 360s anyways. And it seems like you have to unlock some of the dunk packages and connections, some nice ones as well. And it makes the game really interesting I think, places some emphasis on the connections, makes you want to do them you know. These are the layups available, but you know your boy sticking with that shake and bake. That Jamal Crawford layup package. And I saw a lot of comments saying books do a dribbling tutorial. Books do a shooting layup tutorial. I've already done that, you know, in 2K16. And it's very, very similar. But if you guys really want me to do it again, I can do it again. But the only thing I haven't done yet is the post tutorial, post shots. And maybe I'm going to do that in the future. You know, I don't really know too many post moves because I don't play with the big men a lot. But I'm going to try and do my best to get it out for you guys. 
So now we're moving on to the connections and my best way of explaining this is you know getting close link ups with certain players which give you extra perks, extra bonuses, maybe unlock some dunk packages, unlock some you know extra VC and you know as you get more fancy you unlock more connections with players and on each off day you get with your player you either have the chance to choose a connection, an endorsement if you get one or go to practice. You know, so you can pick only up to 10 connections and it's really, really nice. So you have to juggle between making connections with players and, you know, former players. And you have to also juggle between, you know, going to practice and juggle between endorsements for that VC. You know, so it's a really nice dilemma. So yeah, we're going to live to see how we fare. So this is my first off day and as you can see on the screen there's an option to either go for a connection, a live practice or an endorsement. I have no endorsements currently so I can't choose that because I haven't even played the game yet. So I can either go for a connection or go for a live practice to up my stats but I'm going to go with the connection. And as you can see, I get rewarded with 150 VC for going for this connection. And also, if you miss a connection with a certain player three times in a row, you're not going to get the opportunity to have another connection with that player. So you have to, you know, juggle it out. You have to balance everything out. You know, it's a really, really brilliant system that, uh, that 2K have implemented. Also, this is the badge menu as you can see on the screen. Yes, badges are finally in the game. I've done a badge breakdown video, so go check that out. And as you can see, the top two badges on the screen, those are my exclusive badges. And they're given to me at the start of my career, the creation, depending on which player archetype you create. And as you can see, the ones below, you have to unlock them in gameplay, as you can see on the screen. So yeah, if you have any problems with attaining any particular badges and you want me to help you out, you know, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, I'm going to help you. I'm going to try and do a badge breakdown video. And yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading in a while, guys. You know, I've not been feeling too well. Also, I've been writing a series of exams and tests in uni. I've got, you know, put my education first, guys. And also, yeah, thank you guys for your understanding and your support. Okay, guys, this has been your boy, Books. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the future. Stay bookmarked. Peace. Yeah. Last possession of the first half. Maybe they're going to go early so I can get a shot. Oh, where you going? Oh, I rip him. Oh, I get the steal. I'm driving. Easy layup for me. Let's go. It's too easy out here. Look at his nine points in the first half. It's looking good. Okay, boys, let's lock them up. Let's not give them the last shot. Oh, no, where's the defense? Wow, are you serious? That was an easy three. Come on, hit me. Two seconds. That's enough time. I'm pulling. Oh, ho, ho. at the buzzer. Woo, that was a deep three though.